Welcome back, and this time we're going to learn another layout managers, um, um, which is called a uh, grid layout. Okay, last time we already learned the flow layout. Now we're going to learn about the grid layout. What is a grid layout? The grid layout is, is going. Let's say you have a container this way. You have the container this way, and whenever you put in a, a, an item, it's gonna divide your layout into several of the grids with equal size. Okay, grid width equal sign including a browse and label okay rounds and column and each of your item okay, each of the item going to occupy the whole cell okay each of your item going to occupy the whole cell so this one is called grid layout so it's going to let's each time you place in an item it's going to occupy the whole cell this way okay if you place in another item okay it's going to if you place in another item it's going to occupy occupy the whole cell this way okay and that one is called the grid layout it's gonna divide it into multiple browse and columns and resize your item to to fit in one cell and one item in a cell one item in a cell so now let's let's just make a present to demonstrate about this one next this one is called um, the grid layout demo finish um uh, okay right click on this one delete okay right click on this one new j frame form we're going to create layout demo okay finish then um uh, first thing first we're going to click on the navigator okay currently this j frame is gonna have uh, it has its default layout which is border layout and i want to click on this one right click on it set layout and the layout right now is layout right now is i'm going to choose the grid layout where's that grid layout okay and um i'm gonna click on this navigator now this j frame has a layout which is called grid layout and i'm gonna uh, select that grid layout first then i want to select the properties and we will see the properties of this grid layout and we will see right now the number of drones is one the number of columns is zero. Zero means zero means any number of columns is fine. So whenever you drag items in, it's going to, you know, it's going to create many rows, uh, um, uh, many uh, columns. Okay. So right now I would like to fix this one with three columns, and the number of rows I want to specify zero. So in my layout right now, it's going to have only three columns. Okay, divide into three columns. Okay, one column, two columns, and three columns. And the number of rounds can be as many as I want to, as long as I just drag more items into it, it won't create more rounds. So we're going to go to palette, and I'm going to drag in some of the components. Let's say I'm gonna drag in a button. Okay, it's gonna have the first this first item going to be placed into here as the first column. Okay, and if you drag and drop in another columns, okay, it, it, you know it's gonna have another columns, and if you drag and drop in another button, you wanna have another columns, and if you drag and drop in another one, okay, you know it's going to create a new row. Okay, why? The reason is if you click on this one and see probabilities, we find that there are three columns only. Okay, so if it, it has more than three columns already, it won't break down to a new line. Okay, because number of browse also, I specify zero means any number of browse. Okay, then I'm going to drag in another components. I'm going to drag in another components. Okay, you will see from here. This one is a property of the grid layer. And of course, if you drag more, if you drag more, you want to have more there. Yeah, you want to have more there. Okay, you drop more and you have more there. So you can see several of the properties right now. It divided your layout into several of the um, grid, several of the cell with the same size. Okay, several of the cell with the same size over there. The cells with the same size over there. You can see. Okay, cell with the same size. In addition, um, in addition, um, 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 one cell you can put only one component. Okay, one cell you can put only one component. Okay, and um, this one is of course, you know, it creates some of the restriction like the one component a cell they must be equal inside. Okay. 
and you say it's so restricted and of course if, if it's restricted then you don't have to use it you can use any other kind you use this kind only if its properties fit your needs okay and another properties that we can um, do is about um, how if i don't want uh, to put here uh, i don't want one single component but i want more, one more than one component this one is fine we're gonna have the trick here which is uh, you still need to satisfy the condition which is in here you can place only one component so i'm gonna put that one as a panel okay so still it satisfies the condition in one component here but this one is a panel it, it 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 is a container itself so we can place other components on it so i can have this one button and this another button on it okay so this one is this one is how to say the trick this one is a trick okay this one is a trick so you can um shift f6 and run this one or see the windows okay this is a, so if you rearrange this one they won't be divided equally okay can be divided equally you rearrange this one okay these buttons are not gonna be resized because the container um, uh, the panel is the one um, under the arrangement of this not the button Okay, these two button is under the arrangement of the panels okay. Con uh, layout manager of the panel here so that is about the this is about the no sorry how to say grid layout okay next time we'll learn about other kinds of layout which is border layout